I'm at the Wool Against Weapons event where we're stretching a pink peace scarf between Aldermaston and Burfield, Britain's two nuclear weapons factories. There's a seven mile gap between the two. I've just driven along between them and the pink peace scarf is now stretching the entire way. There's one tiny little gap which is being filled as we speak. So this is an absolutely incredible creative initiative. What a way to campaign. We've had over 5,000 people sending in bits of scarf to join up together today. We've had parcels from as far afield as Africa, Latin America, Canada, Europe, and they're all joining together to say, scrap Trident. Ordinary people saying this, giving a big message to the government today. These are people, many of these people are engaging in protests for the first time. The knitting angle has brought them out into the process and into the protest. So it's just a fantastic day. I'm just incredibly pleased to have been part of it. I've knitted two pieces myself, so that's amazing for me. Um, and it's marvellous to see everyone's enthusiasm. We've done our seven miles, we've got it down the route. Um, you can see the beautiful banner that we've got here and I'm just absolutely thrilled. I'm really, really pleased for, for all the knitters all over the world, really, who have spent the last 22 months in this huge leap of faith because I've asked them to, to knit a metre each and they've gone beyond that. They've just knitted and knitted and knitted and I'm so pleased for all of them out there possibly watching this or tuning into us on our website that we've actually done it and we've got a beautiful day here the feeling is just just buzzing we've got loads and loads of people here dressed in pink we've got kids face painting um, later on we've got community choirs singing we've had people drumming and saxophones the police have been great they've been uh, really pleased I think with how it's gone um, so we've just had a fantastic pink peaceful day and yeah I am delighted with it. Jane came to camp last year, Older Muston Women's Peace Camp, and explained to us exactly what she was doing and hoping for. And she was so inspiring with her pink hair and her ambition to connect up Older Muston and Burfield in a really creative way that she had me knitting for the first time in 49 years. And I'm very proud to say my one piece of knitting is here, wrapping up Older Muston and Burfield. <laughs> It's been an absolutely great day, uh, the weather's been wonderful, the police have been okay and the atmosphere has just been very light and good and uh, well over a thousand people, I don't know how many people have been around, have been uh, putting out the, the scarf and more importantly all the people that have got involved, many of them never been involved in this kind of campaigning before, have enjoyed it and said that especially in their towns, loads of people that couldn't come have been knitting for the scarf and uh, been getting involved and talking about the issue and maybe now they won't vote for a candidate that's going to replace Trident and they're already getting um, ready for the month of direct action at Aldermaston and Burfield next March. <laughs>